Okay everybody, what's going on? It's Alan Thomas, aka Shadow Assassins, and I have a new painting. God, I love fighting games. Um, the painting that I have today is of Ryu Street Fighter 2 stage, and the difficulty level on this for me was very high considering the amount of detail that is put into this background. And I tried to recreate every piece of this background as much as I could when I did it, and it's honestly one of my more time consuming paintings. I think this one actually took me close to two hours. Compared to some of my Mortal Kombat paintings and whatnot, that's nowhere near as long as those took. Well, I don't know, maybe my Shao Kahn one took a while, but yeah, this was a doozy. I don't even know if my Sagat one took this long. A lot of challenges in this one. From the start, I didn't necessarily know how I was gonna, I didn't know how I was gonna do anything in this picture. Um. The wood panels at the bottom, I had no idea how to try to create a wood look or feel in a painting. I can't even recall seriously trying before. And then the uh, background with all the Japanese style houses and the details that went into like the little nooks and crannies and the paneling of some of the uh, back houses and whatnot was so intricate. And I'm not known for having the most detail in a lot of my drawing some I do I'm trying to get better at it I feel like I am but boy was this one Oof. there was a lot in this one and it's just the houses that you can see like towards the foreground like directly behind the wood panels those were the biggest head scratchers the further you go into the background the easier it got like the houses that's right in front of the moonlight or whatever that's kind of the, it's probably the easiest part of this entire picture. Even the sky in this one was difficult for me to draw, but I, I still liked it. I enjoyed doing the painting, and it gave me an excuse to listen to YU's theme song on repeat for about two hours, so that's not a problem for me. Starting with the, well, I guess I already touched on the wood paneling. Basically, how I approached that one was I actually drew scratches and sort of, uh, I guess, what's the word that I'm looking for? discolorations in the actual wood itself and then I sort of tried to blend it all together and then I sort of put my shadows into it. Another way that I approach this drawing that's different from my normal ones is each place that I or I broke the pictures down in sections. So I did the wood panel first and after I colored that one in and got all the details into it I went ahead and just shaded the entire thing from the start. Then I moved on to the big wood panel I think on the white I think was the next one that I did and I went ahead and did all the shadowing on that one just to get a clear idea of where I was headed in that portion of the picture and then I moved over to the one on the left which had a lot of detail in it the little swooshes or whatever those things are on the spinning wheels of the uh, house uh, or whatever that thing is that was a lot of detail that went into that a lot of intricate detail too and I had to go ahead and tackle all that shading. Shading that I realized as I did this because I wanted this to look honest to the original, I guess, background from Street Fighter 2. But I noticed that the actual shading of that makes absolutely no sense in how it's visually seen. But that's a whole nother story. Because in all honesty, the entire thing should be dark for the most part. But the parts that you see this lit make no sense. Anyways, um... <laughs> The next part that I worked on was the, I guess the house that the back wood part is going into, the two big structures towards the right. That was also a lot of, I can't say that was a lot of detail as much as it was a lot of small detail. Like it was just tedious more than anything else, but that one wasn't as hard to task as the other ones were. And by the time I had finished that one, I pretty much was in a zone, so the final pieces of the picture were pretty much easy to draw. And before I even started on all the pieces that I just told you I shaded, I made sure that I had the actual background shaded first so I knew how much, I guess, highlights that I needed from the moonlight, which I made a lot bigger than it really was supposed to be. Um, I made the moon huge in this picture, and I have no logical reason why. I guess I just did it for the sake of doing it. I can't recall and maybe somebody who's played Street Fighter a lot or seen the actual background itself could tell me, but is the moon really showing up a lot in that stage? Like I feel like I've made it way too large in this picture, but in any event. And even going to the sky, how I ended up handling the moonlight was a lot different. Just changing up how I do the uh, skies and stuff from previous Mortal Kombat pictures. 
doing this particular one, I did the shadows, or not the shadows, I did the dark clouds over top of the sky, and then I sort of did small highlights from the moonlight over top of the clouds and blended it onto the sky itself. So that's why it looks like it's such intense shadows on the moonlight in the sky. So yeah, it was a lot of detail that went into this picture. I've actually hinted with, at a later date, actually drawing Street Fighter characters in all these backgrounds. Because at this point, I'm not even sure how many Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat... Uh, well, I know this is only my second Street Fighter background, but I've done a lot of Mortal Kombat ones. And I haven't done a Tekken background yet, but I know I'm going to at some point. I'm not going to say when, I'm not going to promise that on video right now, but I know I'm going to do it eventually. So. And all of this, by the way, is building up to one Mortal Kombat background that I'm trying to work on, but I don't feel confident enough in my environment painting skills to do it just yet, but I feel like I'm close, so just a few more backgrounds and I'll be able to hammer it out. But yes, there is one uh, goal in mind for a background that I'm trying to get to. We'll get to that at a later date. Um, spoilers, it's the Gensei. But in any event, um, this is my newest Street Fighter 2 background, one of many fighting game backgrounds that I've done and I enjoy doing. I'm not sure what Street Fighter background I'm going to end up drawing next, but I know it's going to be something. I'm sort of racking my brain with it at this point. I know that pretty soon I'm going to end up doing the, uh, the Soul Nato from Mortal Kombat or any stage that has it. But I want to do another Street Fighter 1 too, but at the moment I can't really think of one to draw. So if anybody out there has a suggestion for one, throw it out there for me because I'm pretty much racking my brain for Street Fighter paintings at this point. Because I'm really torn in my mind between Ken stage, Blanca stage, and Dalsim stage. And I'm not sure which one I want to do. So, And I also might do some stages from other Street Fighter games outside of 2, like uh, Third Strike would be some interesting ones. But that's it. I'm starting to ramble. Uh, this was my Ryu Japan stage from Street Fighter 2. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you all liked the picture itself. You can buy this in my art store at ShadowAssassins.com. should be in my gallery section. I have all my links in the description so you can follow me on social media and check out where all my other artwork and comics and whatnot are. Also, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the alarm button below so you can get all my notifications when I post new art paintings and whatnot on this channel. And I hope you all have a good day. I'm out.